Hi, I'm Vicky Gooding, and I'm here to give a quick tutorial on using Dump Cap. Dump Cap is a utility that comes along with Wireshark. Dump Cap enables you to break up customer data into bite sized chunks so that you can go back and analyse the data far more easily and effectively at a later date. This is incredibly useful if you are capturing large amounts of customer data or if you wish to capture over a long period of time. So firstly, we'll look at how we capture normally within Wireshark and then we'll look at dump cap. So here is a pretty standard setup for Wireshark. Uh, we're starting our capture, we're selecting the Wi-Fi interface and we hit start and immediately we start to see that somebody's pinging something from our network. So there are the pings going out. And if we go to our command prompt, we can see that we are indeed pinging out to the BBC. Okay, so back to here. Now, the problem with this is that if this was a gigabit link, um, highly utilized, then this would very quickly get to an unmanageable size. So rather than doing this, we can use the dump cap utility. So firstly, we'll go to the command prompt. And from here, we're gonna to go to the Wireshark directory. Okay, within the Wireshark directory, we are going to just type in the word dump cap and then hyphen H. So that's help. As we see down here, displays this help and exit. So this help page gives us a list of all of the switches that we can use within dump cap to define what we want to capture and how we want to capture it. Now, all of this information is available at the Wireshark website, so www.wireshark.org. And we can see here we have the definition of dump cap, how it works, its description and each of the options that you can use after the dump cap command to define what we capture. So what we'll do firstly is we're going to define the interface that we're capturing on. So this is going to be here. So what we'll do is we go back to our command prompt and we just type in hyphen I space two. Now I know that my wireless interface is interface two on this laptop. So if I hit return, it immediately tells me that it's capturing packets on the Wi-Fi interface. So control C to stop that. So the next thing we're going to do is to just restrict the amount of customer data that we're saving by splicing the packets. So here we've put hyphen S, which is splicing, and then 86. So 86 there means that we're only going to capture the first 86 bytes of any packet that we find on the wire. So this enables us to catch the Ethernet, the IP, the TCP, the UDP headers um, without having to clutter up our disk with a whole load of customer data. Now, hopefully that's going to give us enough um, information to be able to look at the problem and work out what the problem is on the customer's network. Obviously, if you needed to capture customer data, then leave this switch out. So we can see here that again, we're capturing on the Wi-Fi interface and we've seen 12 packets. Okay, so control C again. And we can also see here that we only saw 18 packets and there was 100% packet capture. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to add a few more commands. So the first one we're going to add here is hyphen A and then space files colon 100. So this means we're going to capture 100 files and then stop capturing. Then we're going to do hyphen A file size colon 1000. So that defines the amount of data in each capture file. Now 1000 is particularly low, but we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. Normally you'd aim for this to capture around about 100 megs worth of data in each file. That's a nice, good amount to analyze. The hyphen N 
means that we are going to be capturing the default PCAP format and then hyphen W and then where we're going to save to defines that we're going to save this file onto the F drive which is a USB drive I have and we're going to call the file dumpcapdemo.pcap so again if we hit return there we can see now that we're capturing on the Wi-Fi and we're capturing to the F drive and we can see the number of packets that we're capturing. So what we should do now is just put a little bit more data on the line. Um, so what we'll do is we will go to speed test. Speedtest.net. And we'll just download some data and we run a quick speed test here. So we're going to hit begin test. So if we go back to our command prompt, we see that the packets have started to go up. Now the other thing we should be able to see here is that if we just delete all our old files, So this is a, a number of files that we captured earlier today. So we're going to start again here. So this is our latest file that we've created. And we can see already that we've created five files, each of around about a meg. So they're all very, very small files. And we'll go back to our speed test and we can see that uh, our ping was 11 milliseconds, our download speed 24 meg, and now we're looking at our upload speed. And we can go back here and we can see that it's creating more files and I think that's probably enough. So control C. Okay, that's great. So what we've managed to do there is create a whole series of files and now we can focus in on any of those files uh, depending on when the customer saw the problem. So if the customer says that they saw the problem, well, at, uh, at more or less the beginning of the capture at 1855, then we can open that file. And from there, we can pretty much do anything that we want to do. Uh, we can run uh, a filter on DNS. Uh, we can find it on HTTP and if we have a look over here we can see that in actual fact each of the packets was limited in size because of the way we define the splice so we won't have captured everything but we will have captured enough um, to look at what was going on within the customer data so we can look at delta times we can look at what the H, what the protocol was we can look at conversations we can do everything that we need to do so hopefully that's given you a good outline on how dumpcat works um, so we just quickly go back and remind you that all of this information is available at the wireshark website and uh, good luck with capturing your data.